hello and welcome to my channel in this video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to copy traders on the fedex exchange okay um so before you can actually copy my trades or copy any other trader of your choice on the fedex exchange you need an account with fedex so you want to make sure you use the link in the video description to sign up for an account then after that you can follow this instruction okay copying a trader on the fedex exchange you don't necessarily need to verify your account okay you can start copying traders why you wait for your account to be verified okay so to be able to do that all we need to do is um, um let me assume that you've already signed up for an account so once you download the fedex app you want to go to the app log into your account and the first thing you want to do is to deposit some asset into your fedex account so you click on asset here all right so once you click on assets you want to come here and click on deposit okay so go ahead and click on deposit and then you want to deposit usdt so make sure that it's usdt that is selected here and the network you want to use is either trc20 or the bep20 network because it is cheaper for you to do this with this network aside the erc20 okay so just select trc20 and then this is the address where you are going to make your deposit into all right then if you select the BEP20, the address is equally here. So just click on this icon to copy the address. But I prefer the um, TRC20. Okay, so just click to copy the address. And then you can go to the exchange or the wallet where you want to send the money to make sure that if you select TRC20 here, you're equally sending through TRC20 from your own um, wallet. Okay, so once you send, the funds will be reflecting okay once you make that deposit the funds will be reflecting in your account here all right so this account currently have um, 50 dollars you can start with as little as 50 or more it all depends on what you want all right so now that you successfully made some deposit into your um, fedex account the next thing is to copy my trade or copy any other trader of your choice okay so to be able to do that i just need to click on this copy trade in here okay click on the copy trading option and it brings you to this interface okay so these are all traders that you can actually copy you can click and see the traders performance and see okay you can copy more than one trader if you want all right so once you are here on the copy trading option the next thing you want to do is to use the search our option here okay to search for my trade for my name all right so you want to come in here and search for digital Leonard. so just type in here digital Leonard. so make sure you type them together there are no space in between and there is no space in front okay because if you put a space here and you search you will not be able to get the the result all right you won't be able to see me so you make sure that the digital Leonard is typed together with that space so make sure you type this together with that space and then you click on search there shouldn't be any space in between the name no space in front no space before the name okay just type in and then you see my trade okay this is my copy trade account here so once you are here you can now click on it okay you can click on the name to open up so once you click on it to open up you see all of my statistics here for the time being i've been trading okay uh, you see the total number of trade I've taken and the rest. You see all of this. And majorly, um, these are the pairs that I trade. Okay. These are all the pairs I trade. You can scroll down here and see all of the statistics of the trades I've taken. Okay. Some of the trades that I've taken that I've closed. Some that I close in profit and in losses and the rest. If you're okay with it, just go ahead and click on copy trade. Once you click on copy, it brings you here. Now, if you don't want to copy any other pair, you can just click. To uncheck any pair that you don't want to copy okay but um it's just only five pairs so you want to copy everything okay so the next thing you want to do is the um, position mode is always on isolated so just leave it as isolated and then for the leverage you are free to select your own leverage i don't use that high leverage but you can select if you want to use 10x leverage or lesser you can go ahead and do that okay then for the full mode here all right you have the option to select fixed amount or if i click on the arrow you see the one that is multiplier so you can just select fixed amount which is you know you can start with as little as ten dollars then usdt so i prefer to use a fixed amount go ahead and leave that there 
then for take profit and stop losses well i won't be able to tell you what to do here because um at times my trade can stay more than a day okay at times my trade can go like minus 20 percent 30 percent without closing it and if you start putting stop loss and take profit for instance let's say you put your st stop loss at 10 percent all right at the end of the day your trade may end up closing and my own will still be open and at the end of the day the trade will still end up in profit so you could be the losing one all right so you risk management here is entirely your own to do if you want to put percentage for take profit and for stop loss go ahead all right so for instance if i put 10 percent here it means that you're making 10 percent of ten dollars because for every trade i open because you're putting here ten dollars okay ten dollars here for every trade i open it will be opening that amount of ten dollars you've put there okay and then it will use the 10x leverage that you've put here okay so all of these settings are optional you can do whatever you want with it now one thing you will notice is that the balance for the copy trading here is zero okay so after making deposit you need to transfer the funds to your copy trading account before you can copy because right now i can't copy since the balance is zero all right so if i click on copy it tells me that insufficient balance so what we need to do now is to go back and transfer the funds from the wallet to the copy trading wallet okay so if i come back here to asset click on it now once you are on the wallet option here the next thing you want to do is to click on copy trading okay don't do the transfer from here make sure you click on copy trading before you do transfer so once you click on copy trading it will bring you to this page when it bring you to this page you will not do transfer so go ahead and click on transfer so once you click on transfer we are now transferring from the usdt wallet okay to the copy trading account so you can see that the balance is reflected here so you can choose to copy to transfer all or transfer certain amount that you want to use to start copying okay so we'll go ahead and do all all right so once you do all click on transfer and then success the transfer has been done successfully so we now have those funds on our copy trading account as you can see here okay the copy trading is showing the balance we just transferred right now so go back again to the copy trading option and search for my name again so we'll just go ahead and type in digital leonard here so once you type digital leonard go ahead and click on search on your button so it comes up again just click on copy now when you click on copy the settings as i showed you okay so um you can use the default setting here or put in your own setting in my own case i will not put take profit i will not put stop loss i just go ahead and click on copy all right so it gives you the summary of everything that is going to do here other course it means that for each trade that i open if i open like two trades each of those trades will cost you ten dollars since it's ten dollars you put on the trading mode okay uh, then for the leverage it to be 10x leverage even if i use 100s leverage it's 10x leverage that will reflect in your own account all right that is what it means then if you put take profit and stop loss you see the percentage represented here so we'll just go ahead and click on confirm all right so we've confirmed that successfully if i now go to my copy trace okay so if i go up here and click on my copy trace You, you will not see any statistics here um, currently because I have not taken any trade yet. So whenever I take a trade right now going forward, it will be reflecting in this person's account. All right, whenever I take a trade, it reflects. If I make profit, this account makes profit and going forward. All right, so um, the trade I've been, you know, doing um, a, a fine. Okay, since I started with FedEx, I've been doing fine. So definitely you want to take advantage of this and start making some passive income for yourself okay and as i said earlier you can copy more than one trader if you have the funds okay let's say you have two thousand dollars you can dedicate one thousand dollars to one trader dedicate another to another trader and so on so go ahead and try the copy trading option try to copy my trade and i will share result with on the telegram group so if you are not on the telegram group make sure you use the link in the video description to sign up for an account once again use the link in the description to sign up for a fedex account okay get your account funded copy my trace and then you can go ahead proceed further to get your fedex account verified all right so to the reason for verification is just to lift some limit 
okay and i forget to mention that whenever you sign up with the link in the video description that i've provided you automatically get upgraded okay you automatically get upgraded to vip1 normally for any exchange you use you're always on vip0 so your performance in that exchange will now determine whether you have vip1 or vip2 but with fedex if you sign up with my link you get automatic upgrade to vip1 and what that means is that you'll be paying lesser fee okay you'll be paying lesser fee that is all i needed to share with you in this video i hope the video is helpful if it is give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with others and if you do have any challenge use the comment section and i'll always attend to your comment that is it and i'll see you guys in the next video